I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on providing solutions to some excellent questions. Here I've picked a few questions from previous test paper of uh, GCE. It is level 3, Advanced Mathematics. I've solved all the questions and uh, provided the solutions in this playlist. Now let's look into solution of question number 6. A circle C has center A with coordinate 7, 5. So this coordinate is 7, 5. Line L, where the equation y equals to 2x plus 1 is tangent to C at point P, as shown in the figure 3. Show that the line, show that an equation of line PA is 2y plus x equals to 17. Part B is, Find an equation for C, the circle C. Then we have the line where the equation y equals to 2x plus k, where k is not equal to 1, is also a tangent to C. Find value of k. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and look into my suggestions later. Now here is how we are going to solve it. We basically need to find equation of this line, which is PA, right? And this line PA will be perpendicular to the tangent. PA is the radius, right? So it is perpendicular to the line L. That should help us. So let's look into the equation of line L. So we are given that equation of line L is y equals to 2x plus 1 and that is the slope m is 2. So slope of PA should be equal to negative 1 over 2 since it is perpendicular, right? And it is also passing through point A whose coordinates are 7 and 5. Now that gives you the equation of line. We can write this as y minus y1 equals to slope x minus x1 right so let's multiply so we get two times y minus 10 equals to we can write this as minus x plus 7 so i actually multiplied this by 2 and uh, those by minus 1 to expand well now bring this uh, together x on the left side, we need to write an equation in the form 2y plus x. So we have 2y plus x equals to 7 plus 10. So we get 2y plus x equals to 70. So, so that is the equation of PA which you are supposed to find. Clear? So, so that's part A. Now we need to find equation of the circle C. How do we get equation of the circle C? Now, one way is that we could find the radius that is necessary, right? Once we find the radius, then we can write the equation since we know the center A. Now, radius is point of intersection between the line and the, uh, between these two lines, correct? So, so we'll find point P. So point P is intersection of two lines. Right. So basically the two lines which we are talking about are y equals to 2x plus 1 and 2y plus x equals to 17. So let, let's call this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. So the value of y, I'll substitute in 2, right? So we'll sub the value of equation 1 in 2. So if we do that, we get y is 2x plus 1. I'm writing here for y. So we get 2 times 2x plus 1 plus x equals to 17. You get the idea, right? So from here, we can open the bracket and get the value of x. 
Normally, you're supposed to answer in this space. Since I want to keep focus on the diagram, we are working out on this side. So my solutions are basically hints for you to solve. Now, let's uh, open this and take it uh, and solve it further. So we have 2 times 2 as 4. So we get 4x plus 2 plus x equals to 17. That gives us 5x equals to 17 minus 2. x equals to 15 over 5 over which is 3. So we get the value of x. Now to find the value of y, we can write 2x plus 1. So y equals to, we know y is 2x plus 1. So we'll substitute 3 here. So 2 times 3 plus 1, which is uh, 6 plus 1 is 7. So the coordinates for point P will be 3, 7. Is that clear? So we got the coordinates for point P as 3, 7. We know the coordinates for point A, which is 7, 5. So we know what is PA. So the magnitude PA will be square root of 7 minus 3 whole square plus 5 minus 7 whole square, which is square root of 7 minus 3 is 4. 16 plus 5 minus 2 is minus 2, which gives us 4, which is square root of 20. So we get PA. Now we can get equation of circle. So we have equation of C, the circle, right? So we know radius square. That is the center. So it is x minus 7 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square equals to square of square root 20, which is 20, correct? So that becomes the equation of the circle for us. Now it says find the equation of the circle. You can actually expand simplify also, but this is uh, good enough. So we'll get the equation of circle as this. So we have done part B, which is find an equation for C, which is x minus 7 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square equals to 20. Now the next part of this is the line with the equation y equals to 2x plus k, where k is not equal to 1, is also a tangent to C. Find the value of the constant k. Now, so that means there are, there is another tangent which is kind of parallel to this. So if you look into the diagram once again, a line parallel to this, tangent to this circle, will definitely intersect the circle at this point. So that becomes your line. Is that clear to you? So this is the line L2, which is also tangent to this particular circle. Let's say this point here is point Q. Now, one thing is very clear that this line L2 will have same sl slope as L, right? So uh, let's find the equation. We know y equals to 2x plus k, we need to find the value of k, correct? So to get the value of k, we know point Q will be on k. So it would be a good idea to find the coordinates of Q, right? Now the key here is that if you look into this, PQ is the diameter, right? So we say PQ is diameter. With center at A, correct? Now that gives you a hint how to find Q. So let's say the coordinates for Q are A, B, right? So in that case, A plus 3 divided by 2 should be 7, right? Since A is the midpoint, so, I mean capital A, so we know a plus 3 divided by 2 should be equal to 7, the midpoint, right? And that will give us the value of a as equals to 2 times 7, right? Then minus 3, which is 14 minus 3, or you can say 11, right? So we get the value of a. To find the value of b, 
will add b and 7 divided by 2 equated to 5. So we have b plus 7 divided by 2 will be equal to 5, the y value of the center. So we get this as b plus 7 equals to 2 times 5 which is 10 or b is equal to 10 minus 7 which is 3. So we get the coordinates of point Q as uh, 11, 3, right? So we get this as 11, 3. Is that clear to you, right? Now this point Q is on the line, right? So, so let's continue uh, on this side itself. So we'll just move the page a bit here. Now this point is on the line y equals to 2x plus k, okay? So on the line 2x plus k, I'm going to place the point Q, which is 11, 3 to get the value of k, correct? So, so we get 3 equals 2, so that implies, so instead of y, I'm writing 3 here, equals to 2 times 11 plus k, correct? So this implies that k should be equal to 3 minus 22. Right, so the value of k will be minus 19. So that is how we get this solution. So the k is minus 19. So k equals to minus 19. Is that clear? So that is how we are going to find the second uh, equation of the second line, which is tangent with the same slope as the first line. Okay, so that's an excellent question. I like you to once again look into the strategy which has been adopted to solve this particular problem. So the idea was that we are given a circle with one tangent line whose equation was given to us. We found the point P on that circle from the simple concept that radius and tangent should be at right angles. Once we did so, we got the point Q on the other side using A as the center, right? And A as the center and the radius length, which we use distance formula, we also got the uh, circle equation. Perfect. So I hope you find this uh, interesting and useful. There are many concepts which are included in this particular question. And I hope that helps you to understand uh, and, get, and get a better picture of uh, related concepts. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching. and. All the best.